Hey everyone, welcome to TubeTape.com's PhotoKey 5 Pro tutorial. PhotoKey 5 Pro has a lot of features from advanced chroma key adjustments to powerful color correcting options. Today we will show you the basics of using PhotoKey 5 Pro and get into some of the more powerful features as well. So let's get started. The first step is to import a picture. On the left hand panel, select Import. Then on the right hand side, make sure the foreground tab is selected and click on import. I'm going to choose one of our sample images to use. PhotoKey 5 automatically removes the green as soon as you import a photo, and as you can see, it does a very good job. We will make a few adjustments in a moment, but first, let's change the canvas so the picture fits better. Click on canvas in the left hand panel. In the preset drop-down menu, there are numerous options to choose from, including custom, so you can create any size image you want. I'm going to select 8x10. Now PhotoKey did a good job of keying out the green, but there is still a little problem spot around her hair. That is easily fixed by making a few adjustments to the key. Select Key in the left-hand panel. There are a lot of options for perfecting the key. We should only need to make a few adjustments to get the key perfect. Under Matte, we are going to adjust the Erode and Expand tool and set it to a negative 2. That mostly got rid of the halo around her head. But we are also going to use the Edge Color tool and set the Subtract setting to about 45. And that looks really good. For the most part, if you follow the rules for shooting on green screen, you are going to need to make very few adjustments to your key. If you have some problematic images though, PhotoKey has the tools you need to fix it. So now that we have a nice key, let's import a background. Now go back to Import, select the Background tab, and click Import. Just grabbing an image and placing it behind your subject is not going to look that good most of the time. You will probably need to make adjustments to both layers to make them blend together. The image I chose doesn't work at all but I like the color, so I'm going to change it to more of an abstract image. So first select Position. Make sure the Background tab is selected, and then I'm going to scale it up till it fits the canvas. Next, go to Filters again and make sure the background is selected, and I'm going to adjust the Defocus setting. Turn the Bloom down to about 25% and increase the Blur to about 25%. I'm also going to change the levels and increase black to 15%. I'm pretty happy with that. Next we need to make some color corrections to our model so she blends with the background better. We're still under filters and we're going to select the foreground tab and let's first change the levels. Turn the black up to around 20% and the white down to about 93%. Next I'm going to change the color temperature. You can see that lower numbers will make the image warmer, and higher numbers will make the image cooler. I'm going to set it to about 5200 to warm up the images and blend it with the warm tones of the background image. Also, I want to add a little more saturation to the image, so I'm going to turn that up to about 1.2. The last adjustment I'm going to make is to add a bilateral blur. This tool works great to smooth out skin tones and remove blemishes. I'm going to turn the blur down to 65. Under effects, there are six different settings that can add cool effects to the entire image. I'm going to use vignette to darken the edges of the image so the eye is drawn to the center of the image where the model is. Next thing I want to show you is the overlay feature. TubeTape.com has many frames, magazine covers, and other overlays to use in PhotoKey. Simply select overlay and then import it into your project. Now our model is on the cover of a Rolling Stone magazine. When you have finished your project, you can print it directly from PhotoKey 5 Pro by going to the print button up here. Email the image or export the final version. If you are working on multiple images at once, you can use the batch export feature to export all your images at one time into the format of your choice. I hope you enjoyed our PhotoKey 5 Pro tutorial and have a better understanding of some of the powerful features you have right at your fingertips. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.